All right, here's a video on my old Stevens 5000 shotgun. As you know, I made a video previously on when this was made and etc. And I mentioned that there was hardly any case coloring left, especially on the uh, receiver. As you can see, there's a little bit right in here. That's the original case coloring. There's some left. Now what I did was I used the perma blue and steel wool or fine, you know, steel wool and I lightly went over the metal. Just lightly, no big deal. Didn't go to extreme polishing. And I took Q-tips and I dipped the Q-tip into the Perma Blue, just add a little bit off, and I started, let me turn it around here, and as you can see, it started coming out pretty good. So what I would do is just kind of go around and just kind of push kind of hard to bring out where the spots are. I didn't use any water. There's a few people online that use water, but I didn't want it to be perfect. I just want it to look gold and to get it back to somewhat of a case coloring. And I think it's coming out pretty good. So, just kind of go in here. It doesn't have to be perfect since it's not a perfect shotgun. And like I said, I didn't shine this up too well because I didn't want to. I, didn't, I wanted the color to come out in different blotchy areas, you know, to, to become blotchy. So that it's not perfect. And you got to go in circular motions. You got to kind of go like left to right just to give it that blotchiness. And then I took a clean napkin and I just lightly wiped it for now. Just to clean that perma blue up a little bit. And as you can see, it's coming out pretty good. I mean, it looks like a 100 year old shotgun. And there's the left, or is this side. So when you look at it, doesn't look bad. And here's the top. See the, on the one side? That actually looks natural there. When you compare the other side, where there's nothing, it looks more natural on this side. And I did the lever, but I want to get the lever a little bit more blue right here. As you can see, that's where it would turn the bluest color. Maybe a little bit on this edge. So uh, turned out pretty nice. Okay, maybe maybe kind of blend this edge in right here. That would be better than what's there. Maybe not. Maybe just a little bit to break that up, that little line right there. So I think it turned out really nice so far. Cool, huh? So what I'll do is I'll take a dry steel wool real fine. And I'll just lightly go over this to blend in a little bit better. Not very, you don't want to do it too hard because you'll take off the perma blue. And then you could give it a clear coat, either with a sponge brush or just lightly spray it with a clear coat. So let me show you this side. So let's dip this into the perma blue. And I already. Oops, let me get this cleaned up. So you could see that there was some spilled on here. So let's start doing that area right there. Takes some time to get it started, but once it starts, you just start to go with it. But and I'm pressing kind of hard. I can't do it with a camera holding the 
camera here at the same time. Hold on. So. Oh, there it goes. It's starting now. See it? See it starting to go in? There you go. So it takes the time, and you do a section at a time. kitty cat that I yell at <laughs> so as you can see it's coming out pretty nice I want to do it perfect just kind of jiggle it around okay how I'm doing that I'm trying to blend in some of the brown and gold in it and that's what the perma blue is doing I'm circulating Right in here, see how some of the blues are coming out? That's really cool, isn't it? And you just keep pushing down on the Q-tip. That's really coming out nice. So I only started this section here. Look how nice that's coming out. And you don't want to get ahead of yourself, so kind of wipe that off with a towel and as you can see this side's coming out really nice how nice that's coming out and then I'll just keep going up up around I'll do this here start to work this in here and what I might do is get some gold powder maybe some real gold powder that I don't need much and just lightly go in here into the English setter and maybe even gold powder this side over here. But I'll fix this side up a little bit better. It's not bad. It's actually not too bad, this side. But I think I'd rather have it just a little bit bluer. Eh, maybe not really, because like I said, this is an old gun, so this might, be, this might be pretty good. I know this is good to top on this side, as you can see. Here's the original bluing in there. Okay, and then of course this side, see that? It's coming out nice, isn't it? And you can see I got a little bit on top of here and how that just started changing color a little bit. And then a little bit on here I got. But once you start rubbing it with the Q-tip, you dip your Q-tip, take off a lot of the excess. You don't need much, and you just keep pushing pressure on the q-tip and rubbing it in a certain area here like just keep rubbing it and the more you rub it the blue ink comes out but I don't want to a lot of people will high polish this really well and get everything off but I'm not doing that I just polished it a little bit just to get at the imperfections because like I said this is a hundred year old gun or so this was made in like 19 between 1930 I guess about 1928 to 30 31 and I want it imperfected. I started with the guard, but I don't like the way the guard came out. Say, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is take the steel wool and just kind of take all this off again and start fresh again and see what I could come out with. The, the bottom of the receiver came out okay. What I might do is just get a little bit more bluing in here if I can. I think I could clean that up a little bit better. But it's, again, it's not bad. Not bad. All right, well, I hope you like that, and if you have any questions, it's I, this is my first time I've done this, and I think I'm doing all right. I know people are going to sit there, oh, my God, you just, this is an extremely rare shotgun, believe it or not, <laughs> and uh, I wanted it. I wanted it on there, and, you know, no matter what, you can always take this stuff off. Um, this was polished before. You could take a Brillo pad and polish this up. Uh, and it will come right off I'm sure with a little bit of elbow grease and I'll get back to this if you want but what I'm going to do is clear coat it because I don't want it to come off for a while and um, go from there alright hope you got it see ya